Hi, I'm Rob McGuirk. I'm the Chair of YHA Australia. I'm also past Vice President of Hostling International. And I'm running for the Presidency of Hostling International. So I'm here today to talk to you about my background, my experience, and also my vision for the future of Hostling International worldwide. So Rob, tell us, what makes a good hostel? What are the elements somewhere like here at Byron Bay YHA? Well, the same things that are common with every hostel worldwide. You need good people. You need good people who run the place and you need good facilities there so that the people who come can actually meet and interact and enjoy themselves. So we've got some great communal areas here. There's the pool, there's a lot of outdoor areas and outdoor indoor kitchen here. So there's a great chance for everyone to meet, share their experiences, and that's what hostelings all about. Okay, well welcome everybody to this meeting of the YHA Australia Board. I'd like to start the meeting by our tradition of acknowledgement, which is to acknowledge the traditional owners and the custodians of the land on which we're meeting, which is the Yarkawal people of the Bundalung Nation, and pay our respects to their elders both past and present. So with that start, we'll get down to the business of the day. Here we are at the YHA Sydney Harbour Education Centre. In this site here, we've had over 50,000 students come through as part of their studies to look at part of Australia's history in this area. Well, I actually studied law and practised for quite a few years. I've, I've been uh, worked in property law, in commercial litigation, commercial law. So I've had quite a few years experience in that area. And I also ran my own software business for 10 years. So I also studied in uh, in, I did studies in IT law as well. So I've had a broad range of experience in that area. And that's been very useful for me, having experience in running my own business, to understanding the challenges that you face in that area. So in the last two years, I've been working very closely with Rotary. Um, in particular, I've been working with the Rotary International President, who's supporting us in a project that we're rolling out in Australia to get all the Rotary clubs in Australia to support ending the blinding eye disease trachoma. It's about educating them on keeping their faces clean and hygiene because there's a disadvantage that they suffer living remotely and not having access to all of the health benefits that we have in the city. So it's an important thing to understand their culture and understand how we can uh, bring the messaging through so that they can improve their lives. Working together to build on our mission is one of the themes today for Hostel International and that's the hashtag stronger together. In order to do that, we have to have a solid financial basis and also work well together. Hostelling International has got a long and proud history. And it's been built up on its mission and its values over many years, and we need to respect that. But we also realise that today's environment is very competitive and there are lots of um, influences and disruptors that are changing our business. So we need to consider that we respect our past, but we build our future. We face several major challenges today. We need to improve our finances. We need to build an efficient and effective booking system that our customers want to use. And we also need to build a community of our associations where we can all work together for our mission. Thank you for your interest and thank you for being part of our fantastic international organisation.